Hi and welcome to Food for Thought Thursday. Today's topic is on onions and I'm going to talk about the white, the red, and the yellow onions. And now, you know, we've all experienced eye irritation when we've cut some onions, some stronger than others. And the reason behind that is that when we cut into an onion and we rupture the cell membrane, that actually releases a really potent phytonutrient called allosulfate and it's released when it comes into contact with the sulfur compounds of an onion. Now that makes our eyes water. It's also very beneficial and health promoting. It can help us maintain normal blood sugar levels. Onions also are a very concentrated source of quercetin which has anti-inflammatory properties and uh, you'll often see quercetin in natural allergy relief products. Now the yellow onions contain the most quercetin and the most sulfur as do the red onions, so the white onions contain less. And um, many of us use the sweet onions, the Vidalia, the Maui. Um, those onions are left in the soil longer and their, their uh, carbohydrates turn to sugar, which is why they're sweet. But also they lose many of their nutrients because they're left in the soil longer. Not to say to avoid them, but just know the difference. So the rule of thumb is, uh, as with most vegetables, the deeper the color, the more nutrient dense they are for us. So the red, the yellow, and the strong the more the more they do make us tear up and irritate the healthier they are for us now onions are also very good source of chromium and studies with diabetics have actually shown that chromium can actually lower uh, blood fasting glucose levels. It, they've also shown that they lower that it lowers cholesterol, triglycerides, raises HDL levels, which is beneficial to our heart. And, um, and also onions are a very good source of fiber, and not to mention vitamin C too. And because they're known for their anti-inflammatory properties, this is a great food to use regularly if you suffer from asthma, um, arthritis, and the next time you get a cold and you have an upper respiratory, say, congestion, try adding onion into to some of your foods and you know perhaps this is why we, we like soup when we're sick because it has an onion base to it so again rule of thumb yellow red most beneficial now in addition to all of this the yellow onions are hardier so they last longer you can store onions on your countertop for you know up to a month and uh, a couple things to remember you don't want to refrigerate uncut onions because that'll make them spoil and you want to store them away from your potatoes on your counter because potatoes Potatoes actually release ethylene, ethylene gas and uh, the onions can absorb their moisture and that makes them spoil much quicker. So of course after you cut them you do want to put them in the refrigerator and you want to use them within a couple days so they maintain the most nutrients. Now um, studies have shown that if you chop your onion and let them sit for five to ten minutes that it actually it has more of the health promoting benefits and more is released. So if you have the time when you're cooking chop your onion let them sit on your your cutting board for five or ten minutes before you add them to your dishes. Now another great thing about onions is it's the one piece of produce that has the lowest pesticide load so it is probably the cleanest piece of produce on our shelves. Now you can use onions oh, in so many dishes. You, I add onions to uh, my scrambled eggs. I put it in spaghetti sauce. Try next time you're baking fish to layer the top of the fish with some sliced, thinly sliced onions and bake your fish with the onions. It's an excellent, uh, excellent to use in like rice pilafs, couscous, um, quinoa dishes, and um, any Mexican dish from fajitas to tacos. I mean, you can just use onions in everything. Red onions, great on salads. But there is one, one thing I want to mention before I end today that onion rings are not considered a health food, so don't even think about it. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed this uh, Food for Thought Thursday. I'll talk to everyone next Thursday. Have a great weekend.